Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sara and today we're gonna do another weird... Oh, this looks weird. I just took this from the package and it's like really... it's whatever. We will do another crazy makeup video now and I've seen people do these makeup things with kitchen stuff, like using kitchen utensils, and I was I thought that I would do that, but then I saw okay people have done that a lot, so whatever. Um, then I thought maybe I do like um, thing with food. No people have done that a lot, so then I decided I will come up with a new thing. Please, if you like these crazy, weird makeup videos, please put thumbs up and I would really love if you'd subscribe my channel so, uh, so I get to buy a new camera, <laughs> which is something I would really like to do. So please subscribe my channel so I get 100 subscribers because I have promised that I will buy a new camera when I get 100 subscribers. So back to the point. <laughs> I'm gonna do my makeup today with a, I don't really know what you call this in English. I've seen like people do their makeup with this um, silicone sponge or silicone thingy. But I decided that I have something that is has silicone in it in my kitchen. So I would like combine something from the kitchen challenge and um, the silicone sponge drying. Thingy. I decided that I would use a baking spoolie, baking um, spatula. I don't know what you call this. Let's call it baking spatula. Do my makeup base. I don't know how this is gonna go, but if this this is kind of like the silicone thing, so this probably could work. Let's go to the business and try this thing out. First, I'm gonna be using the Andrea Milano Clear Primer High Cover and this is for the dry and normal skin. And of course, I'm just gonna use this with this thing. Let's try, let's try. Oh, this feels weird. But at least this is like clear primer, so you have no idea how it's going on anyway so well at least you get all the product that you put on your thingy it doesn't sorb up all the product as the sponges and things would do I think that's the point with the silicone sponge also but this kind of gets I don't know if it's only with the primer or what the thing is, but this kind of gets stuck on my face. <laughs> so it doesn't really like primer done. I think it's it did I think it did quite a good job with it. I don't really know because it's a clear primer so you don't really see it. Then I will be using my Andrea Milana cover solution in shade 300 which is the lightest one. But I have been sick for a long time now, so I am very, very white. So I'll just take some of it and put it on my hand. Then we will start. Please, my friend, please work. I need to have my face on. I'll just take some of the foundation and... Um, why is this always happening when I'm filming? Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. It goes on pretty well. And slides on my face. I don't know if I should use like a like dragging motion or just dabbing it in. But I think the dabbing works better. And it sure is using all the product. But I am kinda liking this, guys. So I think this is a dupe for the silicone sponge. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm amazed. 
with this. I'm really... I, uh, guys, this is awesome! <laughs> I'm gonna start putting on my makeup with this. Wow! Awesome! Just let's do the forehead. And yeah, the dapping motion is a lot better than the dragging motion. And this, actually you can get a really good coverage with this. Oh my god. This is just awesome. Really guys, this is, I'm just gonna leave this with my makeup now. Because the only thing is that when you go next to your nose on these nooks and grannies kind of things, so you can't really get into those really easily. So this is where I would probably use my stop wait I'll just come here darling she's here so I would maybe use my like um makeup sponge or maybe um brush there also under my eyes it goes on pretty well and I actually kind of feel I don't need that much concealer so I do like this. What is happening? I really mean... This is awesome! Why buy an expensive silicone sponge if you can get one from the... I don't know, even know where this is from, like... This is from like some shop, like... This was 50 cents. I'm really impressed with this. I'm gonna just show you... The... Look how good coverage it made. It's impressive. Then I'm just gonna try to blend my um, concealer uh, with it. And Hi honey, do you wanna be in the video? This is the one who's always scratching the door. Say hi. 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 So I just take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in a shade Porcelain. Parcel, Just gonna go like this under my eyes. We'll see if this blends it out. I'm quite interested to see if this works with it also. So I'll just take my new favorite makeup thingy, makeup brush, my baking spatula. And I'm dabbing it in, dabbing, 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 dabbing. It is blending it quite well, but well, actually, it did. It. I think the beauty blender might be a bit quicker, but I think it, this did a really good job also. So I have to tell you guys, this is really, I'm, I'm just gonna start using this. Because if you can bake with this, it must be also like safe for your skin. Because, look at it, it's perfect. It's perfect and doll-like as I want it, it, want it, want it, it, it to be. I am so impressed guys. This is gonna be it. I'm gonna just start using this. The last thing which I don't think this is really gonna work is to put on powder like for the baking with this but if this works I'm really like I don't need makeup sponges or beauty blenders or like brushes anymore I'm just gonna use this for everything. Pisse. It actually picks up the powder quite well and we'll just dab it Oh! Okay. It, it's, it's working. It's, guys, it's working. And actually with my beauty blender I got, get a bit too much of this on, so... I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm quite happy with this. You're gonna be seeing... You're gonna be seeing me using this. Oh! Stop with the clothing! I'm gonna be using this a lot and you can also get like crisp lines done with it so of course after when you have baked your face you can't really get 
it off with this. That's you. I already know that, so I'm not gonna even try it. But I'm just gonna use my brush, and we'll see you in a, a, like five minutes. Okay, guys, this is the finished product, and I am really liking this. It's a good coverage and doll-like skin, deadly-looking skin, as I like it, and. I don't know what to tell you. I was kind of, I was <coughs> thinking that this is gonna be the crazy video, one of my crazy videos again, which you know everything goes really badly and stuff like that. But this is this is awesome, guys. Believe me, this is like I'm really gonna put this there with my makeup brushes and use this from now on because it's great. So you heard it from here. You don't need the silicon sponge. Just use this one. <laughs> so if you like my channel and my crazy makeup videos and my hauls and whatever I do, please put thumbs up, subscribe my channel, help me get a new camera. Thank you for watching. Bye!